All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 76. And if you're like me, you probably have some issues with caps. You're probably constantly running out of caps. You're fast traveling, you're doing a bunch of stuff and spending those caps and you need a fast way to get these, but you wanna do it in the legit way. So today I'm gonna show you guys the best cap stash run. So we're gonna follow a path and collect a bunch of caps and uh, this is definitely the ultimate cap stash guide. Uh, this is all thanks to a guy called Bunny Films from the Fallout 76 subreddit. He collected all this information and listed a bunch of different locations and I decided to take that and make it a little bit more easy to follow but thanks to this guy for providing this information and uh, let's jump right in boys. Before we start though I gotta say that this run has 15 different locations with potentially up to 15 um, different stashes so that's a lot of caps right there of course there's a possibility that some of these are looted already so if you guys want a server hop that's up to you but in total you should be able to get up to 15 different cap stashes and also before we start be sure to equip your cap collector card in the lock area of your special skills um, just to get a little bit more caps from each stash and uh, let's jump right in all right so the first location is the one that you can see here on the map is at this booth right here is a white booth at the entrance to the white springs resort and if you go inside you're gonna find a bunch of different items you're gonna find some nuka colas you're gonna find some desk fans if you guys want to collect some gears but right here at the bottom you're gonna see that we have a cap stash with a couple of extra loose caps right next to it. So this is gonna be the first stash. Next up, you're gonna have to follow the road, the 83A, and uh, you're gonna get to another wide booth. It's another entrance to the Wide Run um, Resort. However, this time we're gonna have to go past it and veer off the road to the left. And uh, there you're gonna find a wide building, which is really close to the White Springs bunker entrance. If you go inside, you're gonna find another stash inside a garbage bin. Next up, you're gonna want to get out of there and follow the road up north to the service entrance to the resort. And here inside the white booth, you're gonna find another cap stash. And right next to it, you're gonna find a van. Now inside the van, you're gonna find two things. You're gonna find the cap stash and you're gonna find an explosive trap. So be sure to disable that first. Now, after disabling this and surviving, of course, uh, you're gonna want to head up north, keep going north to the residential area of White Springs, and here you're gonna find a bunch of different caps, so you're gonna have to follow this. So right here on the map, there's gonna be a bunch of houses. The first stash is gonna be right next to an overturned white chair on the front porch. The second one is gonna be a little bit further up north, close to one of the entrances of the resort. So go inside this two-story house and go across the living room to the back entrance and to the left you're gonna find a shelf. The cap stash is right on the shelf across the bathroom. Then just keep going up north and uh, remember the exit that I mentioned right inside that white booth you're gonna find another stash. Now this is a common uh, raiding area so you're gonna get a lot of raids here probably you have a bunch of sentry robots right there protecting the exit so just be careful there but you should be able to find another stash inside that booth. Alright so next up you're gonna want to circle around and head back towards the Greenbrier Hotel and as you do that you're gonna come across another group of houses which are kind of like at a 90 degree angle from the ones that we just looted and they're really close to the local yeah. fire department so head to those houses and uh, the next two stashes are gonna be really close by they're gonna be on adjacent houses so the first one is inside one of the houses now don't get confused a lot of these houses need keys to get in them however the one that I'm talking about has a busted door so you don't need any sort of like key you can just walk in there and uh, just head to the bathroom and between the wall and this sort of like shelf next to the shower you're gonna find another stash. After collecting these caps you're gonna want to get out of there and head towards the adjacent house. So inside that house 
by the back entrance which leads to this sort of like side porch uh, you're gonna find another stash on a shelf now while you're collecting these you're probably gonna run into a lot of enemies and if you're not high level enough or even if you are sometimes they just attack you at the same time and overrun you so one of my strategies is just running back towards the entrance of the hotel where there's a lot of like sentry bots and stuff like that and just let them take care of the, the enemies uh, just make sure to hit the enemies at least once just shoot them once to get the XP and that should be fine so while I was trying to collect all of these one of my strategies was just run past all the houses and sort of like aggro all the enemies and then just run back to the hotel and let the robots take care of it so the next stash on the list is probably the hardest one to get in this whole run and it's inside the White Springs Golf Club so I actually had a little bit of help from another player because this is actually really hard to get. Actually I had help from two different players because you actually have to pretty much clear the whole area if you want to get down to the location of the stash so if you manage to do that and or maybe if you just want some XP or whatever and you have a little bit of help go down to the first floor or the ground floor whatever you want to call it and there you're gonna find a bathroom a large bathroom and inside you're gonna find another stash after clearing this whole area and collecting that stash you're gonna want to head towards the house that is the closest to the Greenbrier Hotel and right on the porch you're gonna find another Caps stash um, and now we're gonna head towards our final location which is the hotel itself and we're gonna find a couple of different stashes in there so the first Caps stash is one that I was actually not able to get because it's behind a level 3 door um, I don't have the skill at this point but if you guys do you're gonna find the door behind the bell stand right in front of the main entrance. If you manage to open the door inside, there's gonna be a locker and you can find the stash inside the locker. There's also a level three wall safe, which you can open and get some pretty good weapons according to the original poster here. So this is on the first floor and uh, on that same floor you're gonna see a lot of stores. So you're gonna want to head down the hole and find a store called Bespoke. Now sometimes the sign just glitches out and you can't actually read the name of the store. If it does happen just, just try to find this store right here and uh, by the vendor behind the counter you're gonna find another stash. And finally you're gonna want to head a little bit further down the hole and find a store called the Studio 58. Yeah and behind the register you're gonna find another stash so yeah all of these locations inside of Greenbrier are kind of like difficult to get because holy crap this place is it's kind of like a maze it's really difficult to find just be sure to use the main entrance and go into the first floor if you don't do this you might get a little bit lost there are some signs inside of the building but for the most part they're not very helpful I would say just fast travel to this location and it's gonna put you right in front of the main entrance and then just follow that entrance go down veer to the right and then you're gonna find all of these locations and that's pretty much the whole run guys at this point if you guys were able to collect all of these and you equipped the cap collector perk you should have at least thousand caps or something like that now there's the possibility that this does have a cost that there's a lot of enemies nearby and you might die and have to respawn and then fast travel to this location so there's a chance that you're gonna lose some of the caps in the process but if you actually enjoy doing this the legit way, I feel like this is one of the best ways to do it. Of course there's a debate on whether or not server hopping is legit. Um, I don't know, I don't know how to judge that. It's up to you if you want to do it. And I also don't know if I should be making videos on the more questionable methods. I know there's a lot of exploits that you can use to level up faster and to collect a lot of caps. I don't know if I should be making videos on that. Um, I don't support that sort of like practice but maybe some players do like that so if this was a 100% single player game I would totally just make the videos because at the end of the day it's up to you whether or not you want to use those exploits but since this was marketed as a multiplayer game I don't know if it's okay for me to do that there's a lot of channels that are doing it so i don't know just let me know down in the comments if you guys would be okay with me making those videos uh but for now i'm just gonna stick to legit yeah. techniques here 
If you guys know of any other legit ways to collect caps in the game, just let me know down in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.